song service in a different direction. Um, normally, we, we sing and then we read the Bible, right, to set the people in the mood of um, worship.
worship. But I just want us to take this song, The Power of Your Love, Holy Ghost, Let Your Love Surround Me. How many of you in here want the Holy Ghost to surround you this evening?
my family. Let it surround my house. Hallelujah. Oh, bring me near. You draw me, draw me to and that's our way. Oh, 
the time. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, oh. leave you I will never forsake you I will be with you even in you till the end of the world and a little while the world will see me no more but you'll see me because I'm there care what your trouble is this evening, but just know that God is there all of the time. I failed him all my life, but he never failed me. He remained there all the time. Hallelujah. If you put your trust in Jesus, he would never fail you. He's going to be there for you all the time. Amen, 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 amen. With that being said, I just feel like let's read the book of Psalm chapter 1. This evening, no devil, no demon, no Satan, no mountain can stand in your front. Lose yourself this evening and watch God come true. Amen, 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 amen. Book of Psalm chapter 1. It reads on this wise, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor seated in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaves also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. But the ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. So this evening I say, blessed are you that stand in the path of Christ. Let's just pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, O God, this evening. We bless your name, Father. We give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. For no one is worthy to receive the praise but you alone, Father Lord. O God, we thank you for mercy journeys, Father, you have granted to your people. And for those still on their way coming, oh God, we thank you for mercy journeys, Father, Lord. Lord, even as we enter into this service, Father, we ask you to come down in your own way, Lord Jesus. That as the praises go up, may the blessings come down. That as the rejoicing goes up, oh God, let your glory fill the room, Father, Lord. Let your anointing fill the room, O oh God. Let everything that is not of Christ be cast out, Father Lord. And let that which is of Christ remain in the people, Father Lord. Let every sickness leave the building, Father Lord. Let every problem leave the building, Father Lord. Because you are more than able to overcome whatever it may be. 
We bless you, Father Lord. We thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration, Father. Have thy own way in the service, we pray, Father. For in Jesus Christ, most precious and holy name, we have prayed. Amen and amen and amen and amen. Amen. Just turn around, shake your neighbor. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Are you happy this evening? We have gathered again to feast on the table. The Lord has prepared for us. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to welcome all of you again in the name of Jesus Christ. Especially those that beloved ones have just arrived this afternoon. Whom God has granted Johnny Macy. Out of bad road and the weather. The Lord saw them through. We are happy to have them around. We have come to feast on the spiritual food again. The prophet was told he was to make the journey, and some two brothers were following him. And uh, the boatman said, Are you these people? Are you the boatman? They said, Yes. Abraham said, They are not. And he told Abraham, The only thing that will make these people to stay, say, Go back and stuff. And the prophet went back and stuff, make dozens of tape. He said, after I am gone, you will have something to feast upon. Hallelujah. We have something to feast upon. There's a farmer in the land. Not of bread and water only, but of spiritual food. But the bread of Jesus can have something to feast upon. That's why I've gathered this weekend to feast upon. And I say in the morning, you are under great expectation. God is going to meet us at the point of our lead. The store food will come and fry from the storehouse. Hallelujah. There's no prayer request this evening, but we all have a need, and we can never pray too much. Let's just bow our head as we pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you this evening. We are happy to gather again to feast on the table, to eat the spiritual food you store for us. We we'll take this time to thank you for our beloved one that just arrived this afternoon. The jolly mercy you granted to them, Lord. Looking forward unto the other that stand the way that you bring them here safely. Father, we appreciate your word that come afresh to us in the morning. Oh, we that sweat in sorrow, we reap in joy. It doesn't matter how the road has passed through, the ugly ways, the hardship and whatever. We know at the end are going to be a rejoicing. We are happy to know that you choose us for this purpose. And we cannot be discouraged by nothing. We bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. We commit to our servant that going to you this evening to your hand. We will pray for anointing and inspiration. The prophet said nobody can say anything worth saying unless God will help him say it. May you help your servant this evening. That he record the word again. And the heart deserves that children be granted. As what can forth may seek be healed. May Bastada be restored. Pray for revelation and understanding. It's written, all our children shall be taught by the Lord. Lord Jesus, may you teach us, Lord. We thank for our sisters in the kitchen. Thank for the deacons. Thank for the musicians. Thank for the officers. All oh, they are using to make this gathering successful. We bless you, every one of them, Lord. May you strengthen them, eternal God. Take control, Lord. At this moment, we bring every opposition under the control of the Holy Spirit. Every demon part will live for glitched in any way. We bind them and cut them out in Jesus Christ's name. Father, we pray that atmosphere be charged by your power, by your presence, your presence only. That at the end, oh God, we have a testimony to give. We can say like those on the way of Emmaus, the Lord our heart born within us, has spoke to us along the way. Thank you, eternal God, as we pray with thanksgiving in Jesus Christ's name. Amen and amen and amen and amen and amen and amen. Amen. Um, this evening we um I'll, I have a special to present, but before that special, let's sing this song. You are the source of my strength. 
God is our, the source of our strength and without him we can't do anything. It goes this way. be seated. Amen. Hallelujah. How many believe that though they that sow in tears shall reap in joy? Amen. That is the theme of this convention. Whatever you have put in, whatever you have sowed, you will reap in joy. Amen. And the title of my song this evening is They That Sow in Tears Shall Reap in Joy. God bless you. your prayers have been in vain and your faith this old world will destroy though your heart should ache till it breaks in two but they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Oh, they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. For joy sits on. your heart would break, but they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Oh, 
listen. And you have sown precious seeds in the midst of despair. Now you wait for the life to break through. With love and grace, you run this race and overcome all sin and strife. Cause they that so in tears shall reap in joy. Oh, they that so in tears shall reap in joy for the Lord.
and he shall reap in joy. You're gonna reap in joy. Give the Lord a hand of praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And I cross the bridge. There's no more sorrow. And I cross the bridge. There's no more pain. The sun will shine across the river. Okay. 
never forget I will never forget I will never forget I can't forget Jesus I'll never forget Oh yes no How can we forget How can we forget How can I forget He gave me the Holy Ghost He brought me for the mighty clay he set my feet on a rock to stand. He pulled me out for the world. How can I forget? Let's give the shout tonight. Let's give the Lord a praise. Give him a shout. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you happy tonight? We are together again. Just praising the Lord. And something good is already happening. It's not just about to happen, but it's already happening. This is a harvest time. They that so in tears shall reap in joy. Hallelujah. What can we say about this morning? You appreciate Brother AK. What a masterpiece. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. And tonight, it's my honor and privilege to bring to the platform God's servant. A great servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. That has been a blessing to us over the years. Over the years. And we thank God that we have our Chandler here tonight with us. From London, England. How can I forget? How can I forget? I was young, but now I'm old. I can give a testimony that the ministry has been a mighty blessing to the bride of Jesus Christ. And I have no doubt that God is going to meet you tonight at the very point of your needs. Just be under expectation. God is going to bless you. God is going to fill you with the Holy Spirit. God is going to heal your body. And God is going to give you your heart desire. You believe that tonight? So as God's servant comes, let's sing amazing grace. How sweet a sound that saved a wretch like me. We sure appreciate our Chandler. It's a great blessing to have been a great blessing to us. And he has to make a great sacrifice to be here this weekend. Just because of the love he has for the bride of Jesus Christ. We really love and appreciate him. So let's sing amazing grace. As God's servant steps forward tonight. Amen. Can we raise our hands? How sweet the sound that say Just one more time.
clap those hands and give God glory for the grace of Almighty God. Hallelujah. Shall we pray? Gracious Lord, precious Lord, we come into your presence tonight. Grateful, Lord, that you have chosen us, dear God, to be a living witness in this last days. Dear Father, we praise you for the meetings thus far, for the special words this morning, for the laborers, for the host pastor, Lord, for the saints, for the believers who have traveled so far. Bless them greatly today, dear God, and may we get our portion is my prayer in Jesus Christ's name. We thank you. Amen, amen, amen. Let's clap those hands as we find our seats. God bless you. Amen. Well, on behalf of my dear wife and family and church back home, I bring so many greetings that it would take too long. Uh, our brother Gerard, the officers, amen, the believers, and the brethren all sending very big greetings and uh, blessings to you. Hallelujah. God bless you richly. Shalom. Amen, amen, amen. We give God the praise for these meetings. I turn my attention to Pastor Kuchobi, and uh, I want to, wherever he is, amen, he's just gone down somewhere, but I want to say how much I appreciate him for the things uh, he has done. He has worked so hard. Can you help me to appreciate God's servant, Pastor Akuchobi? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. The Bible talks of grace, grace. And he has been gracious, gracious to me. And I appreciate him so much. Our greetings go to his dear wife and family. Amen. All the laborers here in Enugu for these meetings. Behind every meeting, much labor goes on. To all the officers, workers, we want to say thank you for the sacrifice you have made to make it so comfortable for us uh, to come here and we give God glory for uh, all your sacrifice in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Can you help me again just to thank all the hard workers. May God strengthen you. Appreciate you uh, very much indeed, uh, man, and I thank our precious brother Ike, Ike for the very special words this morning, this afternoon rather, amen, they that sow in tears shall reap and the joy shall come. Can we shout an amen to those words? Amen. Hallelujah. As he spoke, it uh, connected with my heart, that word precious. Precious seeds. Amen. They're not just ordinary. They're precious. Amen. And amen. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured back to you. Hallelujah. We appreciate those words, uh, Brother Ike. Ike, thank you. I, I take my hat off my brother. Shalom. God bless you. Amen. For those words, hallelujah. God be praised. And... Uh, I uh, got to meet some of the ministers. I had some good talk with Brother Nanda Chetty over there. So good to see you, my brother. And I had a good talk to Brother Ovid as well, where he is. I'm just spotting Brother Akanyemi there as well. Who, who else can I see? <laughs> Please help me just to greet all the ministers. Whoever I haven't seen yet, I appreciate God's servants. Hallelujah. My, I give God the glory for the fivefold ministry. Amen. And the ministry of perfection they have, which is God-given. Amen. We give God all the glory and the praise. Hallelujah. Well, today I want to bring a, a thought to you, and uh, I brought some slides along. Maybe the brothers will help me to get them going for you. And I would like us to stand as we go straight to the Scriptures. And I have a, a selection of Scriptures, which it is my prayer that they will be inspiring to you in this uh, great um, inspiration, they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Amen. And uh, it's a very, very special inspiration to me. I wanted to start um, in the book of Genesis chapter 47, because we're talking about seed today. Seed 
in the days of Joseph was the most valuable commodity. It was almost a currency in itself. It was worth more than money, practically. And, uh, and uh, I hope we feel the same way today, that these seeds are so precious. Shall we say exceedingly precious? Uh, amen. Joseph, it's uh, Genesis 47 and then jo and 23. Then Joseph said unto the people, Behold, I have bought you this day and your land for Pharaoh. Lo, here is seed for you, and you shall sow the land. Praise the Lord. So there's seed and there's sowing. If Joseph never did it. You have to sow. And Hosea 10, 12 goes on to say, Sow to yourselves in righteousness. Reap in mercy. Break up your fallow ground. For it is time to seek the Lord. Till he come and rain righteousness upon you. Amos 8, 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will send a famine in the land. Not a famine of bread, nor a thirst of water, but of hearing the words. Hearing the words of the Lord. Let's go on to Acts 3, 6. Uh, then Peter said, silver and gold have I none. Mm. But such as I have, I give thee. In the name of Jesus Christ, rise up and walk. Let's close with Galatians 3, 16. Thank you, brothers. Now, to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. And he saith not seeds unto seeds, but as of many, but as of one, unto thy seed, which is Christ. Lord Jesus, we want to thank you just for this honor to speak about your word. And Lord, to get behind Malachi 4. As your word has taught us, and Brother Branham picked up this great statement, it is God's law to uh, receive a vindicated servant. And Lord Jesus, we thank you for Malachi 4 in this season. We see the vindication. We see how you've worked with him. We see the perfect sounding of his message. God, we just can't thank you enough that we have been called by this voice of the seventh angel. God, we give you glory and we give you praise today. Be with us in these few words. May they bring great encouragement. In Jesus' name I ask it. Amen and amen. You can be seated, saints. God bless you. I've got a title. I'm trying to harmonize and synchronize with the inspiration today which is sowing and reaping. And I've just chosen a title, though. Here is seed. Amen. And we know that one of the greatest messages Brother Branham preached on seed is the spoken word is the original seed. Amen. Praise be to God. And we uh, are just going to touch on this great scenario which happened in, in, in Genesis 47 where I tell you the famine you can't say they were surprised because Joseph was under a kind of eagle anointing where he knew it was coming. He knew there would be good time and he knew there would be a bad time after that. And that eagle anointing prepared him for that bad time to come. And Joseph put uh, all that seed into storage. And we've been told the same thing by Brother Branham, to store up the food. Amen. In your car, you should be having the tapes playing. Amen. If you go online, you should be looking at what the prophet is saying. Don't waste your good years. Spend your good years well. 
get into the messages. Spend your time praying. Spend your time going through the books. And uh, spend your time just storing up. And when you think you've got enough, store up some more. And add some more and some more. You will never have enough of this message. Praise the Lord. And what you store will become spiritual food in due season. There's coming a time when, when everybody is crying. Amen. When the pressure comes down, something is going to rise up in you. The world will never understand it. But God is already on the job now. Are you glad for Malachi 4? Can you wave your hand and say amen? Hallelujah. To God be the glory. I'm going to go to my first slide, brother, at the back there. And I'm taking a quote just to start with the, the seed is not air with the shuck. And I want to start with this. Luther went to husk with his first word. The just shall live by faith. Wesley had two words, amen, and uh, it was sanctification, the second work of grace. Pentecost had the third word, the restoration of the gifts, amen. So that was the three that came, but the entire seed has to come forth, the entire seed, and I'm so glad for this message which is the entire seed of God. Amen. Brother Branham called it the end time seed sign. When you see the seed come, only in this time can we say, Lo, here is seed for you. Because the end time has produced the entire seed. Luther couldn't do that. Luther could only preach justification. Luther could only say, Lo, here is justification. He was surrounded by Catholicism. But he said, here I stand. So help me God. Here I stand. By faith alone. Solo fide. He stood. And all Luther could say is, lo, here is justification. All Wesley could say is, lo, here is sanctification. Amen. That's all he had. He never knew the things that were coming later. But he said, lo, here is sanctification. And, he, and the spirit roared through him. Lo, he, they called them Methodists. But he said, lo, it is living right. The Pentecostals, they received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And they said, lo, here is the Holy Ghost. Here is the new birth. Here is baptism in Jesus Christ's name. Here's the gifts of the Spirit. But they weren't there yet because there was coming one more stage. And we can say in this age, Lo, here is seed for you from Malachi 4. It is precious seed. Hallelujah. It is great seed. Exceedingly precious. Praise be to God. I'm so glad just to know these things. To be living in the seed age. Hallelujah. Who can shout amen to these things? Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Amen. That's what we are. We, we are a seed people. We have the entirety of the seed. The entirety. You know, you can take one drop of water out of the sea. And that drop of water contains the whole ocean. Hallelujah. Even though it's only one drop. But every element of the ocean is in that one drop. And I tell you, the seed that Malachi 4 has given us, brother, it's got everything in it. Everything you need is in it. Even rapturing faith is in that seed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Rapturing faith is inside there. Amen. If you need a healing, it's in there. If you need deliverance, it's in there. If you need the Holy Ghost, it's in there. Hallelujah. By these promises, you shall become like God himself. Praise the Lord. Glory. Be seated for a moment. Spoken word is the original seed. What I'm trying to say to you, this is the law of reproduction. Amen. To bring forth of its kind in these last days, 
the true church bride. The true church bride. And it doesn't just stay back and say, well, Branham was a great man. True. Even the Pope knows that. Even the Pope knows that. But the true bride comes to the headstone. It will be a super church. Can I hear a super amen? A super hallelujah. Amen. Next to you is a super brother. A super sister. Hallelujah. Tell them. My super brother. Super church. Super race. Hallelujah. My, my, my. I feel good, brother AK. Woo. I feel hallelujah. Glory. Super sign. Super bride. Super message. Hallelujah. I feel a super atmosphere here tonight. Brother. Hallelujah. The devil is finished already. We have a super message for him. It is written. It is written. Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah. Find your seeds. I'm, I want to move quickly. The seed, the seed life is different to the plant life. The seed life is a, is a powerful life. Amen. The plant ends with a shock because the seed is the next plant. Praise the Lord. He says, super race as she nears the headstone. They'll be so much like him. They'll even be in his very image. Hallelujah. Follow me, brothers. Thank you. Jehovah Jireh says, we know that a seed, when it falls in the right kind of ground, not upon rocks, that's all gone now, nor in thorns and thistles, it would choke it out. But in good, rich, fertile faith. Did you hear what I said? Fertile faith. I can feel fertile faith tonight. Hallelujah. I can feel somebody saying amen. That's the word. Fertile faith. Amen. Glory. Like Rahab. She had fertile faith. She received the messengers. She applied the token. She made peace with Joshua. Hallelujah. God bless you. I'm so happy to be in Inugu. I feel fertile faith here tonight. Hallelujah. Fertile faith. Anything from the Bible, you say amen. Anything from the message, say it, preacher. We want to know what the prophet said. The prophet said it. We believe it. That settles it. Shout amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Glory. Oh, I feel so happy tonight. I feel so glad to be here. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen, amen, amen. So now that's the reason. Amen. Because this fertile faith understands mysteries. It understands mysteries. That's the reason. In Q&A, 19, amen, I think it, anyway, 403. That's the reason these great mysteries could not be given to Luther. Could not be given to Wesley. Could not be given to the age that has just gone by. The Pentecostal age. Amen. That was previous. Amen. Now. Can we all shout now? now. Hallelujah. The person of Christ himself. The son of man. You understand? Revealing himself in human flesh. It could not have come until now. I'm so glad to be alive now. I'm so glad to be with you now. Because now faith is. Faith is now. Hallelujah. We can praise the Lord now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Take a seat as I finish this little platform here. It says, the bride, according to Masterpiece, returns back in the last days. I will restore, saith the Lord. Amen. He said, that's, he said, that's the reason she was in review second time. He said, she was reviewed second time. She was perfectly second time as she was first time. He said, God have mercy. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Life, 
get in the grain. Aha, uh-huh. get in the grain. If anybody here is playing games with double life, hurry, get in the grain. If anybody here p- playing church, hurry, 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 get in the grain. Don't play games. Soon we'll be leaving here. The world is changing. The world is changing. We're not just going to stay here. We have to have rapturing faith. But it's in the messages. Shout amen as you find your seats. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I don't care what they try to do with this message. The Bible says it is incorruptible seed. There's no preacher can corrupt this seed. It is incorruptible. Hallelujah. After 2,000 years, this seed is incorruptible. They can say this, they can say that, they can say the other, but the seed is incorruptible. Shout incorruptible. God bless you. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Something is going on. The devil can't stop it. Amen. He can't corrupt it because you won't deceive the elect. Hey, we're not like Eve. We will say, brother, that's not what the prophet said. You can't corrupt the seed. The seed is incorruptible. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Spoken word is the original seed. Amen. He says, now the Gentile dispensation is to be finished. When this anointed messenger arrives, of course, he will plant the seed of the entire Bible from the serpent to the messenger in the former reign. Aren't you glad this messenger, William Marion Branham, has planted the entire seed of the Bible. You have the entire seed of the Bible. Amen. Brother, we can hold our heads up high. Amen. We can tell the devil, the entire seed is in my soul tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. All that was in God, he poured into Christ. And all that was in Christ, he poured into the bride. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. He planted the entire Bible. Praise the Lord. Third seal, I want you to be sure God promised Eve a time would come when the word would be restored by seed. This word itself would become seed. And we are sowing this seed. And we're going to reap in joy. Now the whole Bible has become seed. Hallelujah. That means it is now plantable. It has now become a plantable seed. And it's in your heart. And Satan can't stop it. And thy seed shall possess the gates of his enemy. Hallelujah. There's a seed in you, my brother. Hallelujah. It shall possess every gate. Praise the Lord. Can we shout hallelujah? Glory to God. Amen. This word would become seed. Birth pains. These men, if they pick this up and go out with it, they can make more sense to it. Amen. To bring it to a place. Me, I just want to lay the seed. Amen. I just want to lay the seed. One more slide, brother. I just want to lay the seed, then hope they will make it come to life. Who wants to make this come to life? Hallelujah. I want to make this come to life. I want to see in Enugu the seed coming to life. I want to preach this message. I want to shout this message. I want to live this message until it starts to take life and to live in me. They won't see Branham, but they'll see the Jesus Christ in his people. Hallelujah. And they will take knowledge that you have been with Jesus. Influence 1963. 
what we've seen happen should put every soul in action. Are you in action today? What we've seen should put every soul in action. Who can shout amen to that one? Hallelujah. Every soul in action. It should make a church that would make a revival here in Phoenix till the people would be flying in from Europe to see what taken place. They say there's a place in Arizona called Maricopa Valley, a city called Phoenix. There's something that has broken out there. It could be Enugu. He, he, he said uh, Maricopa Valley, but it could be Enugu. It could be your church back home. But this is going to break out. Hallelujah. Amen. This is something broke out to the seven thunders of revelation. That's not even wrote in the Bible. Is being manifested. Hallelujah. Brother, something's going to break out. They won't even understand it. We won't be quoting. We'll be speaking the word of God. Hallelujah. Because the word is going to take life. Hallelujah. This is the seed. Take, take your seats for a moment. There was a, there was a eunuch that had so much. He was working under Queen Candace, but he came to Jerusalem to worship. But he came to Jerusalem and he, he left Jerusalem a bit wandering. And he took his Bible and he went into a portion of Isaiah. And at the same time, God was working. An angel was directing someone. And he sat there. And, what does this mean here? And Philip came up to him and said these words. Understandest thou what you're reading? Do you understand? So it's not just that he had the Bible. He had the written word. Amen. He didn't know what he was reading. He said, who is this man? Was the prophet talking of, 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 of himself? Or was he talking about another one? And Philip was listening. And Philip said, lo, this is Jesus that we're talking about. And he gave him the seed. And he baptized the eunuch. And by the time he finished baptism, the eunuch came to thank him and Philip was gone. Because he did his work. Hallelujah. Let me read what Brother Bram said. He said, although an angel directed Philip to him, but the germ of life had to come through the body, Philip. Oh, brother, we're on the line now. Where did the germ come from? Through the angel? No. The angel showed him where to go. An angel is a messenger. But here is a son. Philip had the germ, the message, the word. That's how a child can be born. Hallelujah. Church, I'm so glad for this seed that we have. We're not only reading the Bible, but we're understanding what it's saying. Hallelujah. We have the word, but we have the understanding also. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Church, this is a very great thing. You can have the Bible here. But the, the prophet said in spoken word is the original seed. The Bible has got to be in you. The word is a seed. As long as it's laying here, it won't do nothing. But when it comes in here, then it begins to manifest by the Holy Spirit, the works of God. Then visions come, power comes, humility comes. All your know-it-all is gone. Hallelujah. Because it's not about it being here. You can't say, oh, I've got a Bible. It's got to be inside here. Hallelujah. I'll put a picture up there if you, if you catch it. Amen. About Jesus walking on the road to Emmaus. Church, the disciples were walking with him. And he said, didn't our hearts burn within us? 
because the word was already inside here. And when Christ spoke, there it is, their hearts was burning because the word was already inside there. It was reviving the word that was already in there. Hallelujah. While Jesus was just walking, he didn't tell them who he was, but their heart was burning and burning and burning. Church, the precious seeds had been sowed. And that's what it is all about. Feast of Trumpets, keep walking and watch more unfold. Don't leave it, no matter what somebody else says. Stay in that. Keep walking with that. Watch it unfold and reveal itself. Because the word is a seed. And a seed in the right kind of brown will bring forth its kind. Hallelujah. That is the law of reproduction. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord for these quotations. And Brother Branham goes on in Power to Transform. He says, if you want to go in the rapture, plant it in your heart. Who wants to go in the rapture? <laughs> plant it in your heart. Because inside that seed is rapturing faith. Amen. Amen. If, if you want to go in the rapture, plant it in your heart. If you want to be Christians, place that word. I believe it was Ezekiel said, take that scroll and eat it. Eat it up. The word may be bitter, but eat it anyway. It will change you. Praise be to God. If you want to go in the rapture, eat that word. Get that word on the inside. Praise be to God. That's why we're so glad. He said in spoken word, here is the secret. The word is in the bride. And the mind of Christ to know what he wants done with the word. And she does it in his name. Praise God. She has thus saith the Lord. Then it is germatized. The Holy Spirit waters it until it serves its purpose. Praise be to God. That's what's going on, church. Something is inside here. And the devil can do nothing about it. It's already happened. This world is changing. Even you, you look at what your children tell you when they come home from school. The age of Sodom is here. You hardly know what to say to your kids. Because the world is changing. Because of the media. And they're behind everything. They don't only preach tolerance, but they are evangelizing this subject. The world is changing. In the days of Joseph, the money was failing. Now, I'm not going to say the money is failing now. But times are changing. Everybody know what, what 2008 was? When even Lehman Brothers collapsed. Just like that. The times are changing. IT is changing. ID, your identification, is changing. Even artificial intelligence is changing. Even the way you, you study now. You better know what the future is holding for you. Before you even start to study. Because when you get there, you find a robot is doing your job for you. The world is changing. You need the eagle anointing in your life to prepare you. This world is changing. Hallelujah. You need something in your life now. Just like Joseph knew something was going to change. But he knew to prepare and to store up the food. And some days, some days, you, you see young people, they spend more time online than even in the Word. May it change tonight. That is my burden tonight. That this message might become precious. Until you spend more time in the message than on WhatsApp. Facebook. All these things that you, that you think are precious. They're not precious. The Bible is precious. The word is precious. The promises are precious. Hallelujah. That's what's precious. I pray that even tonight you will say, Lord, let me not call anything else precious. But this message, this message is more than life. This message is going to save you and your family. I know other things are important, but this is the most important thing. 
precious seed. Precious seed. The world is changing. Next year, the world will be even more. This message is going to save your life. This message is your parachute. It's going to save you. Hurry, get into the grain. Get into the word. Hallelujah. It is precious. You can take your seats for a moment. I won't be long with you. Every word in the Bible is God's thoughts. And laid in seed form. This is from the India trip. He says, and if that is received into the human being and spoke by the same thought that materialized the Bible, it brings the thing to pass. You see what I mean? How powerful the, ch the church could be. The Bible said, let the mind that was in Christ be in you. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Now, your thoughts, if they become expression, like God said, let there be a world. There was nothing there, but God said, let there be a world. Hallelujah. And I don't care what you're facing, but if you can say, let there be no cancer, the cancer will go out of existence. Let there be no sickness. It will go out of existence. Let there be no demonic bondage. It will go out of existence. Because you have the mind of Christ. And in your heart, as you think, so shall you be. Can you shout amen, somebody? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Who is thinking, I'm going to make the rapture? Who is thinking, I'm going to be adopted? Hallelujah. You shall be. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let me wind up here. He says, uh, if you ask me for an oak tree and I give you an acorn, potentially you have an oak tree because it's in seed form. If you want, and when you want God in your life, just accept him as your savior. Potentially, you are a full statured son of God. You will grow into the stature of God. Like the acorn grows into the oak tree. Praise the Lord. I want you to, to, to catch this over here. Now, but when you sow a seed, don't dig it up every morning to see if it's germinating. Don't dig it up to see. Leave it there. God is going to take care of it. Amen. Leave it there. Hallelujah. You can spend your time saying, thank you, Jesus. Don't dig it up. Amen. It will bring forth of its kind. All you've got to know is the revelation of water. Who has the revelation of water? The bride of Christ. Like Rebecca, she had the revelation of water. She knew to give water to the cam camels. And you have the revelation of water. That the seed needs water to carry you to the rapture. Shout amen. Hallelujah. When you sow a seed, be seated. When you sow a seed, don't dig it up every morning. If you do, your seed will never come up. You've got to plant it. This is in the church of the living God. You've got to plant it, commit it to the earth. Leave it alone. It's up to nature and God. You have to water it. And that's the only way. Accept it in a good heart. Already fertilized. All the creepers and rocky places and stony doubts taken away in the rich soil of faith and commit it to God. Commit that to God and walk away testifying because he is the high priest of your profession. He is the high priest of what you say. When you sow that seed, you've got to profess. God is going to bring that seed to pass. Hallelujah. That's your profession. The high priest will take care of your profession. Shout amen, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Who believes they're going to make it? Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor your prayer. Say, I am going to make it. Tell your neighbor, I am going to make it by the grace of God. Hallelujah. I'm going to make it, brother. <laughs> amen. God bless you so much. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, my. 
You're going to make it, brother. Something greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. Hallelujah. Amen. Is the word in you? Are you ready now? I'm winding down now. Are you ready? Are you ready now? He says in the message, possessing the enemy's gates. If you're ready, he says in the church lays power to heal all disease. Can you shout amen to that? In you lays the power to heal all diseases. Hallelujah. In the church of the living God lays the power to overcome all temptation. Can I hear amen to that? To overcome all temptation. In the possession of the church lays the power to change sin and to throw it away. Can you throw it away? Let me see you throw it away. Unbelief, goodbye. Hallelujah. You can throw it away because it's in the church now. It's in the church right now. You can throw away sin. Whatever you ask in my name, it shall be given to you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, be seated while I just close up here. Be seated. God bless you so much. Abraham, election. This is paradox, you know. Isaac, calling. Jacob, grace. Joseph, perfection. There was nothing against him. That was God working his way out. He was one minute, he was a prisoner, and the next minute, he was in charge of everything. Turn again our captivity, O oh God. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Turn again our captivity, O oh God. God will take your captivity. In one day, you will be a prisoner. But God will turn your captivity. God will take you up and you will be in charge. Hallelujah. Woo, my. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. No devil can stop Joseph. Hallelujah. Joseph went from prison to power. And you're going to go from prison to power. He's going to turn your captivity. Hallelujah. 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 I feel so happy. Nothing can keep you down there. He will turn your captivity. One day, you're a prisoner. Then you're in charge. In the book of Acts, one day, Paul and Silas were prisoners. But God turned their captivity. Why? Because they began to sing. They began to shout. They began to worship God. They began to sing and say, oh God, you can turn our captivity. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Then there was an earthquake and the big soldier that was holding them captive, he came in. Paul said, don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself. And in the same night, he was saying, what must I do to be saved? The same night, Paul was preaching to his family. And the same night, he was washing their wounds. Hallelujah. God can turn your captivity. He can get you out of any prison. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Shout amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. My. Amen. Oh, just a little bit more and we're done. Jacob, grace. Joseph, perfection. Nothing against him. That was God working his way out. That was the seed possessing every gate. Amen. Luther, Wesley, Pentecost, capstone. The church and the word becomes the same. The church and the word becomes the same. Praise the Lord. Here's my burden here. 
Praise the Lord. Be seated. I think it's my last, my last bit here. He says in the message called a prisoner. He says, speak to us, Lord. I want this to become precious. I want you to check your life. Is anything more precious than the message? Check it. Young people, this is more precious than Facebook. More precious than that girl, that boy. This message may it be the most precious thing. Brother Ike told you, precious seed, precious, great and exceeding precious promises, precious. You've got to see it like that. Speak to us, Lord, and warm our hearts. And we want to know how to discipline ourselves. Discipline. I don't want to go to church. Go to church. I don't want to pay my tithes. Pay your tithes. I'm not forgiving that brother. Forgive that brother. Discipline yourself. Discipline means disciple. Be a disciple. My, he says, the great time comes as we near the coming of the Lord. We thank thee for people beginning to find faith dear. They're finding faith dear. Not just a word, it's dear. That's the time we're living. Faith becomes dear. It becomes important. It becomes special to me. Precious Lord, take my hand. Lead me on. Let me stand. I am weak. I am weak. I am war. Hallelujah. Can you help me? Through... Le Wonderful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's clap those hands for Jesus. Precious seeds. Precious Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. You can be seated. This message is precious. Precious, special. It is more than the world. It is more than, than prosperity. It is more than achievement. This is the message of the hour. The devil always trying to tell you, oh, these people, don't listen to them. Let me give you this little story. There was a, 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 a man who went to an auction. And sitting on the table was an old violin. And just to look at the violin, you think, ah, this is, looks like an old violin. It, it must be worth $2. Is that right? Who's following me already? Maybe $2. And if I uh, don't get it right, forgive me, but it's like he was willing to bid $2. And then an old maestro he picked up the violin and he began to play it. Precious Lord, take my hand. He began to really play that and such a music came out of that violin. The people watching, they said, oh my God, that violin is precious. That violin has got value. That violin is something. And you wait when the Holy Spirit starts to play this message. You wait till God himself starts to play this message. You're going to realize what this message is. Friends, there's nothing more precious than what you already have. Make sure you treat this message as it really is. Don't live a double life. Don't live one life in church and one life at home. Precious seeds, precious seeds, amen, my brother, hallelujah, amen. Every time I touch these brothers, I feel power, hallelujah. This message is precious. There's rapturing faith in this message. There's power in the seed, hallelujah. 
Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let me close out. Amen. Musicians, they can get ready to come up. You see, you see some people today playing games. Brother Branham talked about them. You know, in the message, uh, was it, so is this the time? He said, after a while they became bored and they start to walk out. How many of you remember that quote? They start to, it's like they want some biscuits. They want some catchy words. They want some buzzwords. Yeah, they, just the, the message is like too, too dull. Boring. And they start to walk out. You know what Brother Branham said? In the evening time. When the evening shadows fall, they will be back. There's some people that were in this message. When the evening shadows fall, they'll be back. They'll be back. The prodigal son, he'll be back. Hallelujah. They'll be back. And they won't say, oh, this message. They'll say, give me, give me some seed. Give me some corn. Let me just read this to you. Then we'll close. Praise the Lord. Amen. The brother going to sing a lovely song just now. Amen. God can change everything. You know, there was a time when Joseph's brothers were in charge of him. And when they were in charge, they put him in prison. They put him in the ditch. God has a way to change the balance of power. When the evening shadows fall, all his brothers, they came back. Is that right? Reuben came back. Benjamin came back. And they didn't even know what was going on. But Joseph had such a beautiful attitude. He says, don't blame yourself for this. Don't blame yourself. It was God that did this. For life to be preserved. For life to be preserved. Don't blame yourself. God is in control. I don't care what somebody has done to you. When the evening shadows come, they'll be back. And you'll be ready to receive them. Let's clap our hands as I finish. God bless you so much, man. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You know what happened? Stay standing as, I, as they take their place. Amen. Brother Bam said in Israel and the church, what a feeling. You know what, you know what made Joseph scream and say, is my father alive? He said, it was love. You know what was the driving force when he was giving them corn? It was love. Love took over Joseph till he could not control himself anymore. The love of God constrained him. Hallelujah. Shall I read it to you? He said, what the love of God was shed abroad. My daddy is alive. And I'm going to give him some corn. Praise the Lord. I tell you, some people that have done you bad, you will give them some corn. Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have. I give you in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Get ready as the evening shadows fall. My last quote and then I'm finished. Amen. Hallelujah. There might be somebody, I don't know, there might be somebody saying, Lord Jesus, may this message become, not mine, but I mean the message of Malachi 4. May it become precious to me. Uh, they may even put their hands up. I don't know. It's up to God. It's up to the guide. That was my burden, Pastor. That was my burden, you know, that this message would become precious, precious. That young people would say, I never used to hear the message, but now I do. It's become precious seed, precious seed. I'll read this to you, then I'm finished. Israel and the church, nice and softly. That sounds great, brothers. He says, you know, Joseph, how he was sent down there, and Israel, he sent his children they got a little corn. They were starving. In those days, money didn't matter. They sold for money. They sold for cattle. They sold their houses. They sold their land. Only one thing was seed. I wonder if that time is going to come. You, when the squeeze comes down, even money won't have it. The only thing will matter is seed. Watch the third pull then. 
Watch the third pull there. Then you'll find out what's important. Hallelujah. God. Last quote and then I'm done. They got some corn. They were starving to death. Joseph interpreted the king's dream and how he had put up the corn. Now the only place in the world that has food is a perfect of the church today. Perfect of the church today. The only place that spiritual food is given out is in the kingdom of Jesus Christ. That's the only place. I'm going to ask our brother to sing. There's a song, Ancient Words. Mm. Mm. There might be one, I don't know. Hallelujah. Come up for prayer. We'll pray for you. Let this message be precious. Precious. Maybe two, I don't know. Just come here, I'll pray for you. I want you to leave here saying, In Inugu, the word became precious. So, start to confess. Confess. He's the high priest of your confession. He's the high priest of your profession. Start to sow. Start to pray. That's right. You ask him, Lord, precious seeds. Precious seeds. Precious. More than Facebook. More than internet. More than the world. More than all these things. Begin to pray. Talk to him. He's the high priest of your profession. So in tears. Reap in joy. He that goeth forth. Bearing precious seed. Doubtless come again, rejoicing, rejoice, hallelujah. You may be crying now, but you'll be happy later. Ooh. Hallelujah. Speak to him. The evening shadows are here. Say, Lord, I'm coming home. I'm coming home. That's right. Speak to him. Say, Lord, I've got nothing in my hands. God bless you. This world where we roam, patience will guide us home. about everything. Changing me. So Lord, changing you. This we message is so precious. Open on I want to treat it, Lord, as precious as it is. Take the word from me. 
Take the wall from me. Take the pleasures of the world. Pleasures of sin from me. Wherever you are, just close your eyes. The Holy Spirit is moving. Say, Lord, here am I. I come here for this purpose. I come here for this reason. I want that precious seed planted inside my soul. Just speak to him. Speak to him. Say that God hold you in bondage. Facebook can hold you in bondage. Come on, young people. Press, press, press. This is real. This is real. Press your way through. Press your way through. Oh, precious seeds. Precious seeds. Precious seeds. Never can hold you now. Your flesh can stop you now. Ask what you will. Ask for the Holy Ghost. Be like that, the corporate union. Don't be ashamed. Don't say, Lord, I need your understanding. I need your understanding. I need your understanding. I want to know what this message is all about. Thank you, Jesus. All over the beauty. The Holy Spirit is moving. The Holy Spirit is moving. Nothing can stop you. God brought you here for a purpose. And God's purpose must be accomplished. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I know you will not pass me by. I know you will never pass me. You will not pass me in this meeting. You will not pass me by this night. Glory. Glory. Say the right thing. Say something. Speak to the angel. Like never before, pray like never before. 
don't give up. This day was made for you tonight. Don't wait till the next service. Now is your own time. Now is the hour. Don't wait for tomorrow. He's ever standing by your side. What is it in your hand? What is it that is in your heart? What is it that you ever have asked? All night long. All day long. And it seems like it's not coming true. Tonight is your night. Is your night. Stretch out your hands. God is willing. Right now, His hand is ever stretched over to you. Receive, my brother. Receive my sister. Receive and be changed. Receive. Give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. Tonight, oh God. Don't you ever hold back? So you Don't you ever hold back? Me, I give myself away. Not any other person, but myself. I give myself I'm away. giving myself away tonight. So you can use me. Here I To the Lord that way, minutes not just singing a song, but the meaning of the song tonight. A total reflection. I want to see. Oh, I give myself away. Myself away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I give myself away. So you, so you can use me. My this life, life is not my own. This life is not your own. To you I Commit it to the Lord tonight. I give myself yes, to him. I give myself. Give it over to him. He needs that life. What is my it life. that is in your hand? My life give it over to him tonight. Own. Oh, to you I belong. To him. I give myself. To him. One more time. I give myself. From your heart. You. Say it now. Give myself away. Give the Lord a clap of praise. Give him a clap of praise. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us bow our heads as we pray. Lord, I don't know how to say thank you. I just don't know. I 
I don't know how to say it all. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Precious Heavenly Father, we cannot thank you enough. We want to thank you for your servant that yielded himself to the Holy Spirit control until, Lord God, we could hear from heaven the words, precious words of eternal life. We commit him into your hand, even your son, our brother, Peter Chandler. Give strength to him. Refill, O oh God, his strength once more, Father. Virtues have left him, but God, we pray you refill him tonight. Let your Holy Spirit lead him. Let your Holy Spirit surround him. Let your Holy Spirit upload him, up, uphold him, O oh Father. We thank you. What a blessing. We want to thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit, for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit that came among us tonight. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence. Hallelujah. We say, Lord, come and have your absolute way. Thank you, Father. As we live here tonight, we are not leaving your presence. Lord, just go with us. Every young heart tonight, every brother, every sister, every young man, every young woman, there is no old one in our midst. Lead us out, Lord. Take us by the hand. Let your blessing remain and rest. We want to begin to see the testimonies. Begin to come forth, Lord, to show your presence in our midst. We thank you tonight, Lord. And we say, receive all the honor and glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Shall we give the Lord a clap of praise tonight? Praise God, you may be seated. How many appreciate our brother Peter Chandler? Amen. Turn around and shake somebody. Praise God, amen. Just have a few announcements here for you. Brother, brothers and sisters, good um, Who do not have their complimentary breakfast ticket should come to the uh, front desk to get the, their tickets. There is still food to buy, food available for tonight. Brothers and sisters should please buy their tickets at the front desk, at the lobby to get their food and at the tent. Tomorrow door we open by 8.30 and service will start by 9 o'clock. Praise God, amen. How many appreciate Brother Peter Chandler? Appreciate Brother Peter. Oh, you done so much for me. I can't. How many have a testimony here? Is that a Nari?
what shall I render hey, to Jehovah? For He has done so very much, for very much for me. What shall I? Tell me, Hallelujah, unto Jehovah.
testimony he has the musicians play to just wave your hands appreciate God in your own way give me your own way thank him now if you feel God has done something for you thank him at this moment appreciate him in your own way appreciate him in your own way Count all your valleys, count all your mountains, count all your days. It has all been God. Oh, for the last time, everybody. And you this evening. Father, we appreciate you for your word. Father, we thank you for everything you have done for us, Father. We thank you for your servant, Brother Peter Chandler, which you used this evening to bless us, Father. Father, our cup was filled, Father, Lord, with joy, we rejoice in, O oh God. Father, I ask that you bless your servant, Brother Peter, Father, Lord. And Father, that the burden that is in his heart, Father, Lord, for these young people, may you not die out, Father, Lord. May we carry this message, Father Lord, this word that we have heard, O oh God. May we hide it in our heart, O oh God, and may we move on, O oh God, to the resurrection. Help each and every one of us through our struggles, through everything. Be with us, Lord Jesus. Help us, Lord. Give us your grace. Give us your strength. Strengthen the weary, Father Lord. O oh God, we are looking for you to pour out in the rest of the meetings, Father Lord. Pour out in your strength, in your power, in your might, Father. Lose all of heaven gates, Father, Lord. And pour your blessings upon your children, Father, Lord. That we will have a mighty, 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 mighty revisitation and revisitation of the Holy Spirit among us, Father, Lord. That when each and every one of us lives here, oh God, we will live with a testimony that we have seen Jesus. Oh, we will live with a testimony that we are no longer the same, Father, Lord. We thank you, Father. We give you praise, Lord Jesus. May your struggles keep you near the cross. And may your troubles show that you need God. And may your battles end away and may your bad days prove that God is good and may your whole life prove that God is good Father may our battles end as they should Father may you keep us near the cross Holy Spirit have your own way Lord Jesus we bless you. We thank you. For in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Turn around, shake the hands of someone. Uh, God bless you. Uh, my child wants me to 
again, let everybody know that tomorrow we have three services. So just to prepare your mind as you come. And Lord Richie bless you. Take the blessing home. We are still in the revival. Amen. May Lord Richie bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Amen, amen, amen. As we prepare to go, as Dickens come forward. How many of you believe the move is on? So we're going to keep on moving. No matter what it is, we will move and we'll move to the finish. Amen, amen, amen. Musicians, give us the key. My Lord, the move is on. The move is on. My Lord, the move is on. Oh, I can hear the rustle in the mulberry tree. And I know, I know, I know the move is on. You've got to move on, brother. Move on, sister. This is the moving train. You've got to move. Sing, oh, sing, oh, 
Praise the Lord, single, single, praise. 